Huge thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace.com is the easiest way to start your own website. If there's one thing I love, it's cheap audio products that can do a whole bunch of things, and that's what we are talking about today. This is a little magic box of yumminess for a whopping $72. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about the Fozzy Audio SK01. The Fozzy Audio SK, I can't, I can't even find where the model number is on this. Oh, there it is. Make sure you got your readers on for this one because it says Fozzy Audio SK01. I'm actually going to have to do some close-up photography just for you to see it. A little bit smaller than the tip of a pen. Maybe they want it to be stealthy. This is currently on sale for $72 and I think the regular price is $75, maybe $80. And it's an interesting little box. On the top you have treble controls, underneath that you have mid-range controls, and underneath that you have bass controls, and underneath that you have volume control. All of these knobs feel like they're aluminum. This thing's actually built very well. On the front you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a 6.3, I don't know, what is it? 6.35 millimeter headphone jack? It's the regular one. So this is unbalanced, single-ended 3.5 and single-ended big headphone jack. On the other side you have a USB-C 5 volt power charger. This thing has its own battery inside, so it doesn't need to be plugged in all the time. Then you have a 3.5 millimeter line in, 3.5 millimeter line out. You also have loudness button on the bottom, tone button in the middle, and a gain button on the upper left hand side. This is marketed as a headphone amplifier, but it's so much more and that's not how I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Squarespace, if you ever wanna start your own website, you have a business, do you need to reserve your name.com? Well, you can do it all through squarespace.com. I've created three websites with Squarespace. It's super easy. The only thing that you have to do is type in a few details about yourself, answer some questions about your business, and Squarespace will give you dozens of different templates. If starting a website sounds too intimidating for you, don't worry, Squarespace has a great support center. Just type in what you want to do and Squarespace will give you articles, videos to walk you through the entire process. You want to sell stuff online? Squarespace has you covered. Want to start an email campaign? Squarespace has you covered. Newsletters? Squarespace has you covered. Only thing that you need to do to start your website is drag and drop your pictures, double click on the text box and fill out whatever you want. Differentiate yourself from your competition with a really professional looking website. You can start today. So run on over to squarespace.com slash cheap audio man to get 10% off your first order. Are you a pastel paperclip enthusiast? Then go see if pastel paperclip enthusiast.com is available. Create a family website and post your kids art for the rest of the family to see. It's never been easier. It's never been more affordable to start your own website. So run on over to squarespace.com slash cheap audio man to get 10% off your first order. Thank you, Squarespace. <laughs> So this puts out 2400 milliwatts into 32 ohm loads. I was running the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS off of here and I was able to get them very, very loud. It's not the craziest headphone to drive, but it is not an easy headphone to drive. And Waffle by 7Dust literally bottoms out most dongle decks. And the SK-01 from Fozzy Audio handled it just fine. There's a big bass hit at the beginning of that song and some dongle decks just shut off. Now this is not a dongle deck, so you're going to have to have a source with this. I use the iBasso DC-05. It's a little dongle deck. I've given away all my dongle decks. So depending on what type of DAC or what type of source you're putting in here is gonna play a big role in how good it sounds. So this product may be the answer for you. And when I say you, I'm really referring to the folks that have purchased very affordable Class D amplification, including the Fozzy Audio V3. Because the V3 comes in around $75 or $80, depending upon what sale is going on. It's a very clean amplifier. I would even call it high fidelity. Audiophile of all things. But that amplifier on its own 
to my ear is a little bit thin on the bottom end, which means it doesn't have as much bass punch than I like. With the SK-01, not only are you adding tone controls, including mid-range controls, but my favorite feature on the SK-01, loudness button. What a loudness button really does is it boosts the bass and it boosts the highs when you're at lower volumes. So that smaller speaker, that smaller amp, now seems like it has a little bit more horsepower under the hood. The great thing about this product is it can be added on to an existing, very affordable system. If you have the V3, if you have an IEMA A07, if you have a pair of the Mica RB42s, if you have a pair of the Numi BS5s, any affordable smaller speaker is gonna benefit from the SK-01 because it starts to give you some controls. Now, with all of that said, you're gonna need a few cables to get this hooked into your system. I'm talking mostly about this going into a two-channel system because that's how I would use it. The first thing you're gonna need is a source. For a lot of people, that's gonna be the SMSL SU-1 DAC because it comes in around $75, there's a bit of a theme going on. The DAC is $75, $80. The amp is $75, $80. The SK-01 is $75 or $80. Speakers, you're probably gonna have to pay a little bit more unless you can get the SSCS-5s or the BS-41s from Sony and ELAC respectively on sale. Anyway, what you'd have to do is buy an RCA to 3.5 millimeter cord. You would take that cable and run it into here when you're buying that RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable, you wanna buy two because then you will run the line out 3.5 millimeter to RCA into your Fozzy Audio V3 or your IEMA A07 or whatever amplifier you want to. Then you can either engage the loudness button or use the tone controls and get your music sounding exactly how you want it to sound. So, what are my final thoughts? <laughs> Final thoughts on the Fozzy Audio SK-01 is I think it's worth the price of admission just for the tone controls itself, just for the loudness controls itself. Because with this, you can improve the sound, improve the experience that you can have with a very low cost, affordable system. And then you basically get a free headphone amp out of the deal. I think this is marketed more towards headphone users but I would argue that I think it's going to be more useful in the really affordable two-channel systems. Because it's not quite as expensive as a standalone EQ, you're getting most of the control that you need, and you get a headphone amp out of the deal. This is also very small. I actually took this with me on my last trip to DC and in New York City. If you wanna check out my video from my trip to New York City to the awesome House of Sound from Macintosh, Rotel, Sonus, Faber, and Project, please click on this link up here. It was a really fun video to make. And it didn't take up much room at all in my briefcase. So if you travel, then you could use this as your travel headphone amplifier. And it does have gain control, so if you have IEMs, you can go ahead and reduce the signal a little bit. So not only do I like the SK-01 from Fozzy Audio, but I do recommend it, whether or not you wanna use it as a headphone amplifier or you wanna use it as basically a three band EQ with loudness control and you can tweak those tone controls even when you have the loudness button on. I think it's a great little product and I think it's a way to improve upon a very affordable system and you can do it in chunks. You don't have to buy everything up front. So if you wanna support the channel, you can just subscribe and like this video. You can also use the links in the description. They will be affiliate links. So the SK-01 from Fozzy Audio will be affiliated, which means if you click and you buy, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you anymore. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Tidal, or Rune. Links in the description. You can also sign up for my Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio and every Sunday night we do patron-only Zooms, patron-only Facebook group, and a patron-only Discord group server. Finally, you can buy me a cup of coffee or some crystal light. There's a thanks button down at the bottom of the video next to the share button. Throw me a couple of dollars, put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to give me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe using your new Fozzy Audio SK-01 as a headphone amp or tone controls with the loudness button and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.